Hey everyone, in today's video, let's see how you can convert a string into a date time object in Python. So um, to perform this conversion, we are going to use the date time dot str p time method, right? So let's see a couple of examples to see how this works. Okay. So first, let's import from date time, import date time, then date time str. Let's define a string. Um, let's say April twenty second, twenty twenty nine twenty eight p.m. All right. So this is our date time information in a string format so now we want to convert this to a date time object so uh, we do this in order to be able to apply other date time methods to this object making it easier to manipulate this this object so let's say we have a new variable here date time object then I'm going to use the time dot strp time. Okay, so this this method takes two arguments. The first one is the string I'm converting from, and then I have to specify the the format of the string. Okay, so uh, you can find this code this code formats in this this link i will leave this link on the description of the video it's a, a link to the official documentation but um, i will uh, list the formats we are going to use for each example here so you better understand what i'm doing so uh, these are the formats i'm going to use for this first example they always have this percent symbol in front. So it's percent B for month, percent D for day, percent Y for year, percent I for hour, M for minute, and P for specify AM or PM. Okay. So in this case, we are going to have percent B here corresponding to this uh, month. Then it's percent D because it corresponds to the day. So that's what we have here. It's important to notice that I'm also uh, uh, conserving the spaces. That's what we have here. We have month, space, day. So month space space and then day the next one is year so year the other one is hour so it's i and then uh, the separator here okay then i'm gonna have minute and finally uh am pm here so it's percent e. okay so um, this is the format of the string we have here first month then space then day then space year space hour then the separator then minute finally the pm here right so let's print the date time object to check with if we did it um, properly right so three string to date okay so if if there is no uh, error on on the output it means the conversion was done successfully so you can see here we have april 22nd 2020 and uh 9 
928 uh, pm so you can see we have the correct uh, information regarding our our date okay so this is the full full example right so okay so uh, now let's see another one uh, very similar uh, i'm going to change just a couple things uh, i'm going to include uh, a day of the week let's say wednesday i'm going to change the uh, format here so let's keep april 22nd but the time is gonna be 21 28 oh two so we have a few seconds to worry about and then the year okay so it's very similar so what's different here so we have to worry about weekday for weekday we have percent a here okay and um what else did i change here so i'm going to use month yeah i'm going to use day um i'm have i will have to use hour on this one so it's going to i'm going to add this here right so it's hour in the 24 o'clock 24 hour clock which is different from the i we used before because it was using the 12 hour clock in this case we don't have the am and pm differentiator okay so that's important to notice um, i'm going to remove this since we are not going to use it we are also going to use a marker for seconds okay um and i think that's it that's enough so let's say uh, first we have weekday so it's a then we have month which is b uh, remember to double check your spaces then we have the day so it's percent d and then we have hour but in this case it's a 24 hour clock so this is gonna be h uh we are not gonna use this i so let me remove this so it's less stuff to look at and then um this is for minute so it's all right minute and then we have second we won't have am pm so i'm going to remove this we're gonna have second here so second as a zero padded decimal number that's here this is our seconds and then space and finally the year right so again weekday month day of the month um hour in a 24 hour clock um, minutes seconds and finally year here okay so we match the string we are converting from so let's see if this works okay all right so we have it you can see it here the two extra seconds that are added the the output itself doesn't change much because the object has a default uh print it doesn't include the weekday but if we did if you do not include this let, let me show you what happens you will have a mistake you have an error so you, you have to map uh, this information here so you can actually do the conversion okay so um, that's it uh, i hope you find this useful uh, remember to check other kind of, of um, formats here on the documentation i will leave this link on the description so you can check for yourself but uh, I guess these, these are the most uh, common ones you might need, right? So thanks a lot for watching. Bye.